Hello gorgeous people, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are playing a game called Mouthwashing. Mouthwashing is a game about a crew on a space freighter that ends up crashing. After the ship crashes, they end up stranded in space and they need to survive until help arrives. But there's a bit of a twist. It seems that their captain may have intentionally crashed the ship. Now, I don't want to spoil any more of the story, so I'm just going to let you guys view it for yourselves. But this might be one of the most insane horror games I've ever played and one with some insane storytelling. The way the story is told in this is incredible and wild at the same time and i advise you to pay attention to all the dialogue that's presented it feels like everything in this game is done very intentionally now today's one is a long one so i do hope you guys make it all the way through and i do hope you enjoy this game as much as i did if you guys want to try out the game for yourself the link will be in the description down below but here we go let's jump right in I'm walking into this completely blind. You watching this have a better idea of what this is about than me because you watched the intro. I've heard incredible things about this game. And just based on like the small things I've seen, like screenshots, tiny bits of trailers, I'm surprised that this is getting so much praise. Like I'm hearing people say that they played this and they thought about this like all night after they played. So let's just jump in. Pony Express Long Haul Space Freighter Tulpar Crew Five. Planned shipment duration, 382 days. Elapsed transit time, 147 days. I hope this hurts. Why? Wow. Zero days before the crash. An orbital body has been detected. 21 AU ahead of the vessel. Please make a manual correction. 1.4 degrees leftwards to avoid impact with unknown mass. Oh, brother. Come on. You know I have no idea what I'm doing. Steer right. Wait, it said leftwards. Did it not? Oh. It's locked. So. You tell me I have no choice but to do that pretty much. Extreme warning. Direct collision course with orbital body 1.9 AU away. Engaging autopilot to recorrect vessel. Advise crew to take up emergency positions. 4,000 credits docked from crew. Pay package for failure of navigational staff. Um, can I use this? I guess not. Um, why would I do that? That was definitely intentional. Uh, Pony Express Protection Kit. Use only in case of emergency. Captain access only. Code scanner required. Is this me? Anya? An emergency generator. Oh, the key. Take emergency key. All right, I'm guessing that's for this, right? Uh, oh, use emergency key. That's quite the key. Disengage autopilot. But should I not have done that? I guess I shouldn't have done that. Crew, where is the crew? Guys? Guys, uh, we got kind of an emergency going on here. Don't be daft. Proper preparation prevents accidents. It is your responsibility to keep yourself and the crew safe. Polly says lend a hand. Polly says giddy up, galaxy. So I guess we're like a delivery ship in space. And I must be the captain, but I just basically doomed the ship. I'm pretty sure it said turn like one degrees left to avoid collision and uh, we just didn't do that. We did the opposite. Okay, something's not right here. Oh, hey, Bali. Oh, I don't like this. It's messing with me.
Now will the door open? Oh, it will. Did the crash happen already? And I'm dreaming about it now or something? Oh. Hello. Okay. I'm a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. Where is my crew? Oh! Two months after the crash. Anyone else would do the same thing. We ain't touching the damn cargo. The hold is locked. Down for a reason. The only thing worse than dying slowly is not getting paid. But it could be something useful, I think. Could be what? Hopes? Dreams? Marzipan? Huh. You don't have to. If it helps us survive, it's worth it. Man, Pony Express bosses really aren't chill at all, huh? Come on, a quick look won't hurt. How exactly is this group therapy committee planning on getting in there? Oh, right here, boss. You're looking at the meanest swing of the re regional junior baseball team. Straight up nearly corked a kid once. I could take the utility axe and... You were goddamn born fully corked. That's enough, Swansea. Swansea? Swansea? There has to be an in-case of emergency way inside. If I remember correctly, from the safety protocols, the door should have an alternate access code. But it can only be uncovered using a code scanner device. And only the captain has access to the scanner. Of course, go ahead and ask him all about it then. Maybe he'll sing you the blues too. We don't need him if we find the scanner, get the code, and open the hold. For better or worse, I'm captain now. I'll figure it out. Right on! Acquire code scanner. Okay. So, the ship has crashed already. I guess. Polly says, I rise above negative feelings and thoughts. I love who I'm becoming. How about you? Yeah, I'm guessing all of this, like, stuff on the walls is maybe, like, a glue to prevent the holes that maybe were in the walls after crashing. That's my guess, at least. But it seems that we're not supposed to access the cargo, but we want to try to so that we could survive. Would be dead without this thing. Never thought I'd be thankful for a Pony Express grub. This machine was empty even before the crash. Swansea saw to that. Hey. Looks like it'll be soup again for dinner. Uh, looks like it'll be soup again for dinner. You want a rock, paper, scissors for the chicken noodle? How much food do we have left? I'd say like four months-ish? Hmm, less than our remaining air supply. But we can make it last. In theory. We'll be starting to poke new holes to our belts pretty soon to pull that off. Man, my mom will straight up stuff me when I get back. I'll look like Swansea. We'll have a rad story to tell though. They might even write articles about us. We could be on TV. Hmm? Uh, it'll impress the ladies, too. Hell yeah! The real problem is us running out of toilet paper. Fatal stuff, man. We should leave that part out for the press. This guy. <laughs> this guy seems a little too chill about what's going on here. So, what did it say my name was? Jimmy? Or James? So we're not Anya. And none of the people that we met just now were the captain, either. Seems like something happened to the captain. I guess we'll just explore the ship and see what we can find. I know we're definitely supposed to be confused on purpose right now. Utility, Swansea. Are you supposed to be figuring out our greatest cargo robbery? Why are you standing out here? None of your goddamn business. Everything is my business now because I'm Curly. Because of Curly. I don't want to keep having this conversation. Right, right, Capitano. 
I'm working blue collar fools, can't afford to stop working even when the machine does. Go figure. Before you start, I'm taking a break. Don't you worry, I ain't going over my break time allowance, huh? Working on what? How does it look in there? It's a solid wall of foam. I'm trying to see if I can break it down enough to get something useful out. Any of my tools. But if I breach that foam and break the air seal, it slides out for all of us. I ain't letting anyone else mess around in there. Even Desuke? He's, our, he's your intern. He's supposed to be helpful. You think I'm letting that knucklehead in here after the crash roughed it up? Our so-called nurse nearly skewered her leg when the vent hatch was open during maintenance. And that was before the crash. I warned her, but it's in one ear and out the other. Then there's that teeny bopper thinking only with his downstairs long nose. Just like my useless kids back home. So no, ain't letting anyone near this mess. Alright, Swansea. Keep me updated. Alright, so this guy's... I mean, I guess he means well. But yeah, it seems that the foam may be like a system that automatically did that. And now the foam is hardened and it may have shut off some things. The cockpit. Wait, yeah, let's go to the cockpit. Take code scanner. Okay, so that's what we needed. Cool. I wonder where we crashed then. Like, are we just stuck to the asteroid we crashed to? Or did we crash on another planet? And, oh, medical lounge. Okay, so that's where he is. And medical... Oh, wow. You can hear his breathing. He doesn't want to keep still anymore. What about the painkillers? He... It just hurts him so much. I can't stand the noise. You did make it through nursing school, right? Pony Express sure does know how to cut corners, if nothing else. Oh. Also, well, um... I was hoping you could help me with Captain. Curly. Right. Sorry. With Curly's medication. People have to be worth their titles. That's crazy to say. Don't you think, Nurse Anya? Yeah. Forget I asked. I'll take care of, I'll take care of it. So this was Captain Curly. And then it seems he got messed up in the crash. So now we're assuming Captain, but we're being a real douche about it. Wow. Captain only used to reveal access codes around the top bar. <laughs> Why did it tell me to do that? Like I could scan him. Oh, that's for me to put the pills in. These are all we have left. Open up. Hold still, yeah? I don't like this any more than you do. You know what they say. Pain is how we know we're still living. I, I can't bear to listen. Excuse me, sorry. Wow. Well, it seems he can't speak anymore or anything. We don't have a whole lot of painkillers left. But you still want to keep... Why do you think he did it? Does it matter? What answer would make you feel any better? I have to believe that our worst moments don't make us monsters, Jim. I have to. Even in his case. He tried to take us all down with Himanya. The way I see it, 
There's two reasons to keep him alive at this point. I guess the important bit is that we all agreed to it, for one reason or another. I'm still feeling nauseous. I need a minute. Okay, I understand now. So, I mean, I should have clocked this earlier. He's the one that intentionally crashed the ship earlier that we played as first. But now, remember when we kept seeing things and like the hallway kept repeating and stuff? Was that all in our head? Was, you know, is he, is he having like some kind of mental issues going on or what? We're we doing the right thing. Let it be medicine, food or water. What do you guys think we've been shipping? If it's spare parts, maybe me and Swansea can repair the ship and we can get out of here. Right, Swansea? Quit yapping. Alright, here we go, I guess. Um. How does this work? <laughs> oh, 4517. Gotcha. That's cool. Alright, so, let's see what's in the shipment. Seven days before the crash. I'm very interested, they're telling this story in like such a jumped up, jumbled up order for a reason. Are you listening? Yeah, yeah, damn, I'm so sorry. Oh, so now we're playing as Curly. Couldn't sleep again. But I passed the psyche Val. Well, you gave the same answers as last time. I do wish you'd open up a little more, Captain. These evaluations aren't just about you. As long as I'm fit to fly in your eyes, Anya. Oh, stop it. Guess that means I only have one more eval to do. Jimmy? He acts as if I do these things for fun. Then I have to make a report with things like... I found myself sexually excited at the sight of cartoon horses. Huh. <laughs> well, I could take it off your hands. Really? I've known him a long time. He won't try any bullshit with me. I suppose you are the captain. I am the captain. Thank you. What a relief. Oh, before I forget, Swansea asked me to give you this. They can't expect me to perform miracles. Not sure what it means, but sounds like fun. Good luck, Captain. Talk to Jimmy and Swansea. So, what do I have to give Jimmy the psych eval report because he doesn't take Anya seriously? I guess we'll just go see. I wish we had a mirror. I kind of want to see what we looked like before the crash. Wow, look at how nice everything looks. It's really nice to jump around in time like that so you get to see the before and after of everything. Nah, you must be Jimmy. And Pony Express said they don't provide onboard entertainment. Feels like there's always something broken in that room. Topar's starting to show her again. Past inspection, right? Shouldn't be an issue. Hmm. Plus, they added Daisuke last minute. Didn't account that there'd be five of us now. I really should have made a bigger stink about that. Maybe you should intervene. Or we could just close the door. Your call. Oh, God. Well, I could see the issue. The kid was brought on just to make me suffer. Intern my ass. I was just trying to fix the vent. H how did that trigger the emergency foam? Because you're talented in all the wrong ways. I would have dealt with this, but only you can unlock the axe case. Every goddamn thing has to go through you. I'll handle it. Hang in there, Dasuke. I'm definitely mispronouncing his name. Alright, the axe cabinets. Right here. And I do have the code scanner. 2609. Alright. 
I guess we gotta axe him out. What if I hit his hand? Oh, he's fine. <laughs> that was cool. Come on out of there, buddy. Youch! Oof, strong stuff, huh? Get through your goddamn skull. The event is strictly off limits. Holy fucking collapse inside. You looking to get impaled, electrocuted, and cooked? Yeah, but like... You can't fit in there to fix it, right? So I can totally handle it. Captain. Give me the axe. <laughs> so let's see. This could have damaged the pods. You can't let something like this happen again. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Loud and clear. Keep the axe until you've cleaned this all up, yeah? Alright. Now you. I take it on you, diagnosed you with being sane then? Just off center, but it's what keeps me on my toes. I said I'd do yours. I want to hear all about those cartoon horses. Is that something you were born with or a recent development? <laughs> all right, all right, shut up. <laughs> Let's go to the cockpit. All right, so basically, uh, Jimmy was totally messing with her on the, uh, on that. Like she was trying to give him an eval and he was just being a douche. I'm curious though, cause it seems that he keeps trying to get psych evals done so he knows something's wrong with him. But what actually triggered him to do that? There's already something wrong here. This is not what it looked like when we went to the cockpit before. Yeah, there's definitely not that long staircase. Or that. Okay, I see why we got two psyche vows. Whoa. What is going on? Warning emergency. Ladders. Critical system. Oh, interesting. It's only making me look this way. Damn, that's bright. The door? And it's like nothing ever happened. You can't just make something up for this. It's not like these evals ever go anywhere when we get back. We'll power through it. Have you been able to complete your mandated tasks as co-pilot efficiently and to your fullest capacity? Ah, so he's co-pilot. Uh, let's see. 
I'll just put good for that one. Uh, it's all of them. Done and done. Are things otherwise? Off the record. I like it. We're in control here. Didn't think you'd ever take to being a freighter pilot as well as you have. With what... What with how you struggled back on Earth. Sure. All I ever hear is how great of a leader you are. Honestly, it's kind of annoying. So what is it? Hmm? How come it always seems like you're standing on the edge of a bridge with your feet in cement? Lately, I've just been thinking. Is this enough? Should I stay here because I've been successful at it? A good long haul freighter captain. And that's bad? That's what I'm saying. It's not. But. It's terrifying. I think. Am I figured out? Is this all I'll ever be? Or do I take the risk and try something new? Even if I'm bad at it. Hmm. I guess I get it. You reached the highest rung on this ladder. So now you're thinking you might be on the wrong ladder altogether. Still a long way down from the top, no matter how you look at it. Well, I'm still climbing and climbing. Something like that. But hey, you know I believe in you. Here, on Earth. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you should write that on the psyche, Val. Incoming message. Oh no, the big guys themselves. Guess that's my cue. I'll see you later. Where is that? Take news from corporate. Um... That's really interesting. Uh, so Curly's having kind of like a mental crisis with he's already at the highest position of this job. And despite it being so successful, he's kind of struggling with the fact that is this all I'll ever be or will I ever be something else? Will I ever be able to do something above this? Which I think is something that is quite common for some people. Even if they're not at the highest position in their own job, it's kind of just like, is there anything else I can do that will be higher than this or just different and is it worth taking the risk to do something else even if I'll be bad at it and even if it'll take time to rise up into something else I think that's a pretty uh genuine human thing oh another transition oh it didn't give me a time Yeah, I didn't expect such an emotional dive there. One more thing. That could also be why we were seeing ladders in our vision as Curly, because they kept saying just now, like, you're on the highest rung on the ladder. Some of us keep climbing. You know, you got to climb back down if you want to go on another ladder. It's very interesting. This has to be copyright, right? <laughs> Little skeleton dancing? Yeah, get it, bro. Oh, you lost your leg. Okay. I feel like that this game is going to be really deep and maybe have like a lot of symbolism. So I don't want to miss anything. Dragon Breath Presents. Revolutionary new dental hygiene product. Brand new formula designed to kill bacteria and kill germs without leaving a bad taste. 
Mouthwash, all day fire fresh. Two months after the crash. Wait, this is what was they were carrying? It's... This is... Mouthwash? Unfucking believable There's got to be an ocean of this stuff in here. This room looks freaking endless. This is what they'd have five people hauling for over a year. All of this for mouthwash. The sugar content probably offsets any potential as a disinfectant. Disinfectant? What are you? Let me see that. 42% ethanol. Huh. <laughs> uh, I suppose we'll smell good at least. That's right, kiddo. You can bet your ass on that. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Stop that. Ooh, -wee. oh, shut up. I'm just an old codger taking care of his dental hygiene. You hear that? That's the sound of 15 years of sobriety popping like a cyst. A glorious, magnificent, red hot cyst. Good riddance and cheers. To Captain Curly, hear, hear. Guess anyone could get seriously blasted over this stuff. Yeah, and kill you in the process. This can't be real. I. There's no way. Now we can go out in style. Lisuke! Come here. Anyone ever teach you how to drink like a man? Whoa, that was crazy. Okay. Break the news. Wait, so... So, they've been carrying this gigantic cargo for a year, traveling with it, and it's only full of mouthwash. I mean, now we know why the title of the game is Mouthwash, and apparently, you know, you could get drunk off of it, I guess drinking enough of it, which is insane, and uh, it's too much sugar to be a disinfectant, so it can't really help Captain Curly, I guess, with his wounds. Yeah, they're kind of screwed. I would have thought there would be some kind of food or something in there, not just mouthwash, that's crazy. And now I have the objective to break the news. Oh. News from corporate after all these years, just like that. But it seems I can't read it or look at it. I need to tell them. What happened? Yeah, so just for reference, that's how long the staircase actually is. The lounge. Oh, no way, it's my birthday. Surprise. Surprise, look at your face. <laughs> gotcha. Cheers. Uh, wow. W what's the occasion? We only, w we only get one communal birthday party per trip, right? So, we can have it whenever. Only one person can really be surprised birthday per trip. We did it Swansea last haul, remember? No way! I can't believe I missed that! You were next on the list, so congratulations. I hate to say it though, your duties have to extend to even your own birthday party. You're the only one with clearance to make the cake. <laughs> the recipe is there by the machine. Hop to it, Captain. Okay, so apparently I have some bad news to tell them. And I can't even tell them right now because they're throwing me a birthday party. Let's talk to everybody. I want to get the dialogue. Could you sneak an extra packet of sweetener in there? <clears throat> I keep messing up the voices, sorry. Can you sneak an extra packet of sweetener in there? Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe not. Totally kidding. Unless. <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> Sorry for jumping to you. This whole thing is corny. But you know, it's kind of a tradition now. I dare say I almost look forward to it. Hmm? Nothing. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm waiting for that thing to shut up. You could use the Pony Express provided cake recipe? At least make it correctly. You should find the ingredients and recipe in the kitchen. Swansea really likes that cake. Don't tell anyone. Hmm. Alright, alright. Let's see if I can put an extra packet of sweetener in there too. 
Oh my god, don't tell me I actually have to... Ingredients, water, gelatin, sweetener, tox, tonic. Oh my god. Wait, what is that? Water, gelatin, sweetener, and tonic. <laughs> I see. The sweetener is restricted. Um, take water packet. And then... Oh, I guess I put the numbers in and then I'll make it. Four, two, one, three. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, so we'll take that. Bam, and then. Interesting. And then what did it say to do next? Mix cake base and sweetener. I think I can put an extra sweetener in there. That's actually going to be great if I can. Okay, so we'll take that. Then, oh wait, go back in. And then... Then we'll mix those. Wow. And then, can I... No, it won't let me. Okay. I have to, I have to give it to everyone. <laughs> I can't put the extra sweetener. Oh, man. You gotta make a speech! Can't argue with that. Speech, speech, speech! Go on. I... Hey. What's wrong? That's all it said on the report from management. Wait, so I'm not even going to get to know what it said yet? We will receive the paycheck for this delivery. I don't know any more than that. Pony Express finally kicking the bucket, huh? What a joke. And where the punchline? I don't have any savings. They can't just do this, right? Pony Express was one of the last manned crew freight companies. The writing's been on the wall for a long time. When did they tell you? Earlier this week. I was instructed to wait until we're closer to the hall destination. But I can't keep something like this from you all. So I guess you got what you wanted. Without the guilt. Jim. If I had known... I could go back to my... How'd you put it? Struggle of a life? Anya never got into medical school because she's, well, let's be real. And how many employment years swans he got left in him? Yusuke will be fine. Mom and Daddy have him covered. So there's that at least. But you... Headed for bigger and better, right? I'm just... I'm just working on my life being a place I don't have to fucking escape. That's what I was trying to tell you. Nothing more... We're the ones you're trying to escape. Leave the dirt behind now that your boots are clean. That's not what I meant. It is what you meant. You just couldn't frame it to yourself in a way that kept you as the hero. Abandon the crew but remain the model captain. Unbelievable. What? What am I supposed to do? Let's have some fucking cake, hmm? Props to the Twilight crews of the Tulpar. Props to our captain and his new prospects. Wait, so... Did basically the rest of them get fired, and we got promoted, and we're gonna get a new crew? That's- at least that's what I'm getting from it. <laughs> I don't know how to cut it. Oh, there we go. Wait, nope. Oh, oh, there we go. Damn, cut that thing, bro. Oh. And... New section. 
three months after the crash. Check on Curly. Alright, so we're back as Jimmy again. It seems that Ani's not in bed. Desuke's in bed. And I, I don't know where the other guy sleeps, Swansea. I don't know if he's been given his medicine yet. Find Anya. Is that him like screaming? Uh, guessing she's downstairs. You know, even still, I don't think that explains why he'd want to, you know, die like that, crash the ship on everyone. Anya. Oh. Why do you got the axe? No, I understand completely. If that's how it has to be. Hmm. Oh, it's you. Jimmy, not able to sleep either? It's nighttime. Why are you talking this late? Anya, are you crying? No, don't worry, I'm okay. We all need to keep it together. Oh, I'm keeping it together. Don't you worry, Captain. He's making noises again. Did you give him his meds before, on you? Uh, no. Must have slipped my mind. I'm sorry, I'll... I'll do it. No, really, I'm perfectly okay. I said I'll do it. You getting a lot of use out of that right now? Force of habit. Don't overthink it. I feel like they gave him the axe on purpose. I'm definitely gonna overthink that. Just a handful left. Once these are out, we'll have nothing to keep him quiet. His mouth is closed. Come on, stop with the noise. Damn it. I know what everyone is thinking. The way they look at me. What could I even say? And then... What would she do? Damn it. Here we are now. Me in the driver's seat. Thanks for that. Open up. I hope these make you feel fucking better. I love the way the game transitions. Wow. Oh no. Wait, what's going on? Everything's really messed up now. Where is everybody? Mouthwash. We should have some. Why, well, it's mediocre at best, obviously. Sometimes you can only get the subpar stuff. That's what makes the really good stuff, well, good, right? Why bother? Hey, we all tried to escape. Didn't work for any of us. I've thought many times, is this what peace feels like? And is it good enough? If I'm being real, it certainly isn't the best. So all I can do is try and make my life one I'm not trying to run from all the time. Sometimes I'll be promoted, buy a house, fall in love, but other times I'll just have some awful fucking cake with my friend. Right now that sounds pretty brilliant, yeah? So if you'll do the honors. Right. Well, let me go find a knife. 
Is this real? There's no way there's a knife all the way in the cockpit. Does that mean everybody's dead too? What's that all about? Feast. That looks like someone got axed. And last person we saw with the axe was Swansea. I do not like the noises I heard there. Looks like an eye. Oh. What is happening? There's no actual cake, is there? Four months after the crash. Check on the crew. I don't know if that was real or not. Or if that was like, uh... Imagination thing, because that would mean everyone else in the crew died, and then to survive, I was trying to eat curly. And I really don't want to think. Dude? Uh, how many have you had? Those will kill you before, before anything else. I know. My mom found this internship for me. Such a slacker, she said. I don't know. I just never knew what I wanted to be. Never was good at anything. Total screw up. We're not done yet, Desuke. I just hope she doesn't blame herself. Please, just take it. I don't want to look at this stuff anymore. I want to be alone if that's okay. Sorry. I guess there really is nothing to do, but eat and hope to survive. Seven three nine. Wow, there's mouthwash everywhere. Hey, Anya. Ah. Oh, you startled me. Sorry. No, no worries. You think about drinking that too? Honestly, yeah. It'd probably just make me feel sick. Wouldn't fix anything. As much as I'd like it too. Right. Hey, I was thinking. Did you know that not all of the medicine aboard was in my office? We store some in a storage locker in the hallway. Why haven't you brought this up earlier? It was foamed up. I didn't think it was possible to reach it. But I've been estimating the position of the foam. I think the medicine depot locker isn't far too far into the mass of it. So we could try to break it down. Won't strike too many on a weak spot. We'll all get sucked into space. Oh, so we're just stuck in space then. I think it's worth the risk. I wasn't sure if we were like crashed on some planet or if we were stuck on an asteroid. I mean, we still could be, I guess, but nothing else, if nothing else, is an excuse to get Swansea to hand over the axe. I'll break the foam. Yeah, I'm gonna need that, buddy. Yeah, I don't trust him with the axe, drinking, and... Oh, they were playing games at least, that's kinda cool. I'll take that, buddy. Jimbo! El Capitano! The man with the plan! You done? I need that. This old thing? This was entrusted to me by our previous tragically inclined leader. Big responsibility. But you know all about that, huh? I'm gonna try and get some more painkillers. Do something useful, you know? Uh-oh, I heard all about it. 
You're looking to pull the plug on this party early. I'm trying to save us. Take matters into your own hands, eh? Be my guest. He's gonna break it. Yeah? Think I already feel the ship rumble and tumbling through space again. <laughs> Back to the future. He didn't have to ruin the nice screen. That was probably like one of the only good things left. Oh, right here. Oh, I see. Take isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, you guys know I suck at that. Take painkillers. Why are you all up in my face like that? Oh, wow, Jim. You did it. Yeah, it actually wasn't that hard once I figured it out. Amazing, really. Sure. Um, I hate to ask you again, but... Could you give Carly his painkillers? It still just, just makes me so nauseous. You're not serious. Look, I've entertained your sentimentality up until now. But I'm trying to actually fix things on you. I believe it said take responsibility on screen just now. I'm getting us through this. I... I, I it's find the code scanner. Then figure out the door code, get the axe, chop up the foam, but not too much, and best of all, give Curly his fucking medicine. But I'm bearing it, I have to, because the captain has to take fucking responsibility on this goddamn ship. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Go make sure Daisuke doesn't choke on his own vomit. No, 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 I, I can't. I'll take care of it on you. I always do. Damn. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, she's supposed to be like nurse of the ship and she can't really do anything. That's kind of wild. Alright, come here, goofball. I don't think I understood the pressure you were under before. Fuck, when you tried to tell me. Our worst moments don't make us monsters, huh? You were a good captain, Curly. And you'll be one again. I'll get us both through this. Interesting. He's kind of got sympathy for him now. I felt like before he was kind of angry about what he did. I felt a lot harder to listen to that time. Oh. Oh my god, I thought the game froze. Six hours until judgment. Jimmy, get the fuck out here! Wait, what? Um... What? Uh... 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 Danger... My hands won't stop shaking. What? What the hell? Take rope. You can't hide. What is going on? What am I gonna do with the rope? Oh, he's rope. Now what? I'll take metal pipe. I'm gonna chop you into 20 fucking pieces. Uh, oh, can I put this on here too? Oh. Too 
two days before the crash. Hmm. I don't really know how to interpret that. Because it sounds like that Jimmy did something. And then Swansea was trying to get after him for it. You doing okay? Yeah. Can't sleep. I know how that is. I just toss and turn. Or stare at the ceiling all night. I actually kind of like the nighttime window screen. If you can believe it. So I just come look at it sometimes. If you look really, really close, you can see there's a dead pixel in the upper right corner. That's so. Hmm. Nope, don't see it. In the back of my mind, it's always there. Now I'll go bonkers looking for it. Cheers. I don't think it ruins the illusion, though. It's peaceful. But maybe I'm just used to looking at the bigger picture. How many days of transport do we have left? Uh, let's see, off the top of my head, around 237 days. Just under 8 months. Hey. Why do you think Pony Express put a lock on the medical room door, but not in the sleeping quarters? Hmm. I suppose for the same reason they put a lock on the cockpit. Safety. Five months after the crash. Jimmy, help! What, what's going on, bro? Uh, Jimmy, it's a total emergency! Calm down, what is it? Anya is stuck in medical. The door won't open. What if she runs out of... something? Right. Let's go have a look. Anya, I brought Jimmy. We're here to rescue you. Don't worry. Don't panic. Why don't I hear her? Do I get the axe? Oh, there we go. Hey, I heard the lock's broken. Hey, Anya? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Jimmy. The rest of our medicine stash is in there, too. Damn, this could be bad. Did you try to really put your back into it? Any wrenches lying around? Any- how heavy is the med kit? Anya, is the door stuck? No. Huh? What do you mean? Look, we're all stressed. But you can't go breaking down at every little hardship. Open the damn door. You were right. You were right all along. I should have done this from the beginning. I always believed that our worst moments didn't define us, didn't make us beyond repair. You think I wanted this either? Make no mistake, this isn't my worst moment. Far from it. It's the best decision I'll ever make. Open the door. Is she gonna try to kill Curly? I'll take care of it. Anya? Anya, wh what does that mean? Curly's still in there with her, right? Yeah, you don't think. It's okay. You and Swansea know the internals of the ship better than anyone. There's absolutely no other way into medical. Uh, mm, well... Swansea said it was strictly off limits. The vent. Like super mega not allowed above all else. The utility room. That busted vent in there loops into medical. But I mean, technically a person could totally fit through it. If that's the only way we'll make it work. You listening, Anya? Fine. Come on, Daisuke. I can tell this isn't gonna go well. Oh my god, is he gonna try to go in through the vent and die? Daisuke? And that's why Swansea gets pissed? Where is Swansea? Nope, sitting in front of utility. Swansea, we need your help. I, I know you said utility was dangerous, but I- I'm good right here, fellas. You know I'm not letting you in there. Off limits. Look, if there's any possibility- Jimbo. Letting you scratch at that foam wall could be- would be useless. You'd only tear this goddamn ship a new asshole. Nothing to be done about it. Bad luck. Tail missed the donkey. 
But Swansea, this could be really bad. Just hear us out. We're God's handpicked favorites on this here planet, I reckon. Means we get to name it. Oh, so we are stuck on a planet. So let's hear it from Wake Rock. Whatever's going on anywhere else ain't my problem. Since I'm the happiest man Wake Rock has ever seen. Let's just go, Daisuke. There's no point with him. Eight hours until judgment. Damn, what happened to him? Don't do anything. Stop, stop, stop. I can fix this. Why do you keep fucking saying that? Are you hearing yourself? Uh, I'm sorry. We still have disinfectant, right? The one from the extra medical stash? Get it now. The cocktail. We. You. The cocktail? What are you blabbered about? That was your fault. You wouldn't have- you would have never have- I had no choice. You. Useless. You goddamn fucking idiot. There has to be something else. Find disinfectant. The cocktail? What were they saying? If I made one of the drinks? What happened? I- I'm, my guess is he did try to go through the vent. There's a light there now. What is going on here? They won't let me see what happened here on purpose. That's crazy. I'm already looking in here. At least try to make yourself useful. God damn it. There's a lot more like lights that they put up now. What does that say? Whoa. Oh, nah. Is Jimmy losing his mind too now? Take responsibility. What happened? Be quiet. A blind beast, aimless and restless, you can't run from it. Is there actually a... What is it? I'm guessing I have to be quiet when it's close. I can't even go that way.
I don't want to learn the hard way if this thing could kill me or not. Can we get that? Responsibility. I'm, I'm sorry. I messed up. Uh, don't try to talk. Yeah, I know that probably hurts. Five months after the crash. I think the vent and utility connects to medical. But you heard what he said. I'm going in there now. Uh, it's too unstable. Trying to break the foam could risk the air seal. I just don't want to fuck up again like I did before. You heard Anya. I wouldn't put it past her to do something extreme right now. You and me, Daisuke. We could save Curly, yeah? Swansea won't help, so we'll figure it out ourselves. Uh, right. Alright, yeah. We got this. But even before the foam, how do we get the door to utility open? Swansea's been practically camping in front of the door, and he has the key. I have an idea. You're going to have to trust me. We need to knock him out. Y you're gonna fight him? No. Even he has to have his limits when it comes to booze. We make him pass out. Simple, safe. He might not even realize we did anything from the, after the fact. There's a recipe for a mocktail in the kitchen. We could follow the steps, but use different ingredients to add kick to it. Come on. Alright, I knew we were going to make the drink at some point, I just didn't know when. Okay, so water- no. Uh, water and tonic. Oh, mouthwash. Mouthwash and icy propyl. Then drink basin sweetener. Okay. Okay, then drink base and sweetener. Where do we get drink base? Oh, what's the sweetener code again? Two, three, four, one. Uh, can't really get that. So what do we do? Is that really good, just like that? I mean, yeah, we can't really make anything else. I guess we just give it to him like that. Right? What do you think? We're out of sweetener, any ideas? I, uh, I might have accidentally at some point mistakenly misplaced a few packets before. By accident. Right. You could take a look around my stuff. Could be somewhere around there. But also totally somewhere else. Who knows? Anything's possible. The crash here jumbled everything up. By your stuff? As in like over here? Oh, it's got video games and a gaming magazine. <laughs> Bro, it's under his fucking bed sheets. Are you serious? <laughs> Alright. All right, let's go give it to him. Here you go, Swansea. We totally didn't want to get in that room that you told us not to go to, but here's a drink anyway. Here you go, buddy. Fuck is that? Look, we need to keep working together. If this is how I could get us through this without us being at each other's necks all the time, then... Yeah, yeah, give it here. We kind of freestyled the recipe. Yeah, I can tell you how to hand in this monstrosity, kid. You ain't no mixologist. Sure as hell ain't no mechanic, either. <laughs> you never should have come here. Who the fuck even decided to let you board, huh? Stick the idiot with a bunch of sad sack adults and see what he learns, eh? Bootstraps and all that. What a load of horseshit. You think it's all going somewhere, but every failure leaves you a little more mangled than before. Older, uglier, meaner. Smarter in a worse way. Following doesn't suit you, Swansea. I suppose you think we should, uh, all be acting like you? Our hard-working esteemed captain. 
I say take a load off before the sun finally sets on this party. May we never go to hell, but always be on our way. Damn it, he just got down that. And... Knocked out, yep. Utility room key. Okay. I'll get over it. Is he still breathing? He practically bounced off the ground. He'll be fine. His tolerance has to be through the roof by now. Probably just wake up with a massive headache. Oh man, he's gonna be so, so mad. I'll never get a good reference now. Ugh. This guy. This guy's got the wrong priorities. Captain, um, you sure about this? Maybe we could talk with Swansea when he's... Maybe we could talk with Swansea when he's cleared up a bit later. He's just, like, really into workplace safety and stuff sometimes, you know? Which is, like, totally cool and stuff, I think. He taught me... It's time to be brave, Daisuke. Carly and Anya are counting on us. Are we gonna see what the room looks like? Wait. Whoa, it's, like, barely foamed up at all. Hey! It's those things I've never been inside one. What are they called again? Uh... Cryostasis pods. Oh yeah, these things are far out. Totally sci-fi. Oh, it looks like this one still works. How long can these things even keep you frozen? 20 fucking years. I can't believe Swansea managed to clear up all the foam from here. He didn't. What? Think about it. Swansea never let you work with him on breaking the utility foam wall, right? No, it needs to be handled delicately. He said I have way too much athletic strength in my arms. I would have just torn right through the foam. I was like, damn, makes total sense. Bummer. So I've been in charge of the kitchen instead. He said it's next level critical to keep stock and organize every day. Had me double, triple, four, triple, check everything like all the time. Right. Of course, he never told you he'd gotten in here. No, but look how busy you must have been. There was never any foam here. And Swansea has known the whole damn time. Just taking a load off before the sun finally sets on this party, huh? That boozed up bastard has been bidding this time that he could save himself. Would getting in the pod really mean you'd get rescued? 20 more years of a chance to get found. I'd take those odds over our current situation. Not like this, though. Not by lying through my teeth while waiting for everyone else to die. No, man, that just can't be right. I'm sure there's a reason. We'll ask him about it when he wakes up. All right, so basically, Swansea has been guarding this pod for the five months since the crash because he's kind of betting that everyone else is going to die somehow before him and he'll be able to use this pod so that he could survive 20 more years and in those 20 years get rescued at some point. That's crazy backstab. We'll deal with him after. Right now we have a job to finish. And the vent looks like it's still in one piece. Whoa, check out the sparks. I hate to imagine how gnarly it looks on the inside. It could be somewhat collapsed in places. You can make it though. We need to try it. Um, Swansea said it's not safe. I know he's forgot to tell us about the pod, but he knows, like, everything about this kind of stuff. Maybe we should just wait for him to wake back up. You said you could handle it. Swansea taught you well, right? Time to prove it. He'll be impressed when he wakes up proud. He'll understand why we had to do this. Then he can explain himself. You think so? Daisuke? Everyone's counting on you. Captain's orders. I yeah, I got this. Okay, here we go. And he's going to get electrocuted. Anya, uh, wh what did you do? Oh, he made it through. One day before the crash. Wait, did he make it through? I'm not even sure. Find the gun. 
I must be playing as Curly now. Wow, it's been a while since we've seen the place completely un, un, uh, undamaged. What's wrong with you? For fuck's sakes. Where is it? Us being let go isn't a reason to hurt yourself. Anya? As our nurse, you never got psyche vows. I should have thought of that. You could have come to me if you were feeling stressed. What would you have done? Anything. Anything. You, the crew, are all my responsibility. I told you so over and over, yeah? I'm not going to hurt myself. You know the gun is in a safety case I can't open. But I hid the case itself. Tell me where it is. None of this has to be put on your performance log. We'll figure it out together. I'm pregnant. You're what? Who would you- Captain? I told you. Listen to me. We can fix this. I've known him for a long time, I'll talk to him. I know you'd never give me the gun to protect myself. So the least I can do is make sure he never gets it either. Who? Jimmy? No. Okay, so they knew ahead of time. A reading printed from the navigation computer detected abnormal asteroid trajectories along the route. Course corrections might be required during transit. Wait, so... I'm actually... I really don't know. The bleeding won't stop. Just try to stay still, Daisuke. I need a second to think we could fix this. Hey kid, you hear me? Hey Suke. Hey, stop. Stop, stop. Don't move. It's alright, Tsuke, calm down. This line of work. You could never have become like miserable old Swansea. What a tragedy. Decades of hauling ass for Pony Express. Big mighty bruiser with all his shiny tools. This is where it got me. The good life, huh? I thought you were dumber than a can of paint. I was just chewing my ear off about nothing. Useless ray of goddamn sunshine. Not an ace student, career workhouse, career, career workhorse, or force of ambition. Just a damn good kid trying his best. You could have taught an old fool like me a lot. Close your eyes, Desuke. You monster. I could have fixed him, Swansea. I have to do everything myself. Why can't any of you just give me some time to fucking think? How do you still not understand? It's over. End of the fucking line. He won't suffer one more second because of your delusions. Unbelievable. Stop pretending. I know all about your plan, Swansea. I went to utility. I saw what you've been hiding down there. Sneaking around with that axe, telling Anya who knows what, now this? You're making sure you're the one who gets inside that cryopod. <laughs> I sure did talk to Anya. But it was her telling me all sorts of things instead, wasn't it? Shouldn't a captain go down with his ship? <laughs> Not that it matters anymore. I ain't got no place to be. I got everything I could ever want right here on this ship. So go ahead and get in that pod. If you ever get found, you can tell them what's, whatever fucking story you like. If you've ever earned it. Wait, so then why was he keeping, keeping the pod then? Get the gun. 
I don't know where the fucking gun is, dude. I don't understand why he was- Why was he kind of like gatekeeping the pod then? Did she- Did she- Overdose? I thought she was gonna kill Curly. <sighs> Damn. The code's in the cockpit, isn't it? Wow, that's insane. That everything just pretty much went to crap that quickly. Anya locks herself in the room, ending herself. And then... <sighs> and the whole thing with Daisuke. 739. I'm pretty sure that's the code we're looking for. He left. To me. Oh. And that's when he decides to come after me. Zero days before the crash. I told him. Anya, you should have waited for me. What did he say? Nothing that makes any difference. Did he seem angry? Where did he go? He just walked away. Curly, I don't want him in here anymore. Hold on, fuck. Just, just wait, I need to find him. Everything's going to be okay. Need to get to the cockpit. It has to be Jimmy, right? Maybe? I don't even know at this point. Jim? I can fix this. What do you think will happen when we get back? Hmm? We can figure all this out. You and me. 90... What'd that say? All I ever hear is how great of a leader you are. God, it's so annoying. But now... What do you think will happen now when we get back? We'll fix this together. Everything you and I worked for in our lives. Accomplishments. Changes. None of it will matter. You've gone through difficult situations before. This time won't be any different. Work through it, one day at a time. It's not just me, is it? You were supposed to be the one who had everything under control. You said so yourself. The ship, this crew, everything that happened here. This was your responsibility, Captain. That is what you'll be hearing the rest of your life. Responsibility. Or, this can all be remembered as a tragedy. Despite what must have been the best efforts of its acclaimed captain, the Topar crew was never found. No one survived to tell the tale. Oh my god, we get to see him. You're standing at the top. Feet in cement. I get it now. Right? Right. I 
99% kills 99%. I'll take care of it. Wait. System failure. Jim, t tell me you didn't. I should have. I didn't. What the fuck did you do? Oh my god. Crash imminent. Holy shit. And he told... So Jimmy did it. Jimmy was the one that actually crashed the ship. And then when the ship crashed, he told everyone else that Curly did it. I'm I'm still not fully comprehending why though. Because Anya was pregnant, so he thought it would be better to crash the ship and hopefully no one gets out alive. I don't understand. Or maybe he was hoping that they would just divert the ship off course and then they would all just get away. I don't understand. I, I, I'm, I'm a little confused by that. I'm going to have to go back. Dude. Woohoo. Happy birthday, Captain. This rocks. Here. You can see we shot him. To Captain Jimbo. Come on. You have to give a speech. Go on, have at it. You better make it good. Hell yeah. Our captain. Captain Jimmy. Get the job done. A lot of people struggle to put food on their plates. But that wasn't enough, right, Captain? The lowest rung of your ladder is our highest. Until it was all swept from under your feet. Life isn't worth living at the same level as us. But I forgive you. All of us do. I won't give up on you. Even like this. I believe in you. You're going to make it through this. Sometimes we thrive, travel the endless reaches of space, but other times we just have to accept days like these. You taught me that, Curly. Let's eat. Let's survive. Take responsibility. Where the fuck are my keys? Um...
I'm a little confused at the moment, but we're just gonna keep going. That was Daisuke, I think. No turning back now. Responsibility. Well, if I can't turn back. Responsibility. Okay, that's not normal. The vent. Wow. Daisuke. Oh, wow. Yep. I think they're walking around in here and I have to shoot them. I know he's close. Come on, show yourself, buddy. Let's just get this done with. You're gonna make me keep moving. The goal might be to kill him. Ooh, because I don't think I'm really seeing an exit here. Yep. I have something to say. So shut the fuck up and listen. I spent 13 years half cut up to my eyeballs. Drunk, to put it mildly. And suddenly I saw it. A street light shining in my face. 500 gigawatts of the power of God. A vision of my bloated body found in some ditch. Scared me straight. So I got a collar shirt, mortgage, and a credit card. All the things that make a good man. I hoped I could raise my children to be better than their old man. I want to believe I was never one setback away from my worst self. But the truth is, discipline, drive, routine, 
The endless fucking desperation to get shit done. A loving wife? Great kids? Sobriety? I'm telling you. You. Accomplishments I'd been chasing all my life. Never felt as good as I expected when I crossed the finish line. So now that we're at the end, take an inventory. Those nights spinning out of my head, sinking into the sofa. The broken glass in my palms. Bleeding dry, the funniest thing ever. Old dogs laughing and snarling on a waterbed floor, mocking the moon for daring to show its face. All nausea and wreckage and vomit and ugly cruelty. The only problem in the world, an empty bottle. Those were the best days of my life. Yeah, those were the best days of my life. I got nothing to hide, ready to face the music. I could see myself for what I am. But you, a cowardly, selfish motherfucker, and you can't even see it. I should have been able to protect the kid. If I could have done one thing right, I wish it had been to give him one small chance off this goddamn rock. Swansea, I'm going to fix everything. We're going to make it. Fuck you. Take responsibility. I can't even tell what's really fake anymore, to be honest with you. I thought Curly was the one with, like, some kind of crazy mental. But it was actually Jimmy the whole time. Wow. Because the whole time in the game, we weren't taking responsibility for the crash. That's why we want to become captain and probably try to save everyone. Or at least attempt to. Because we were the one actually guilty for what happened. Ugh. In his mouth, yep. What is that over there? I have no choice. Oh, I didn't have to sit there that whole time. Dude. Just someday he'll thank me.
Don't tell me I have to keep doing it. Is there something else I'm supposed to do with it? Oh, wait, I see. This is like some kind of puzzle. Is it? You could watch it going through. Yeah, I think that's right. Help me. I'm controlling him. go home. We are home. Why don't you finish what you started? Don't worry if anyone ever finds us. I'll still be playing the villain. You'll be the better man in the end, like you wanted. I could have stopped it. I'm taking responsibility. No. We can both be heroes. We're a team. Just you and me like we used to be. What happened was an accident. We were trapped. I made a mistake, alright? I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry, Curly. the vents again. What is this? What am I looking for? Ultrasound scanner, take care of it. Why does it look like a dog? Gets rid of that bad taste in your mouth, huh? Your wreckage. Your silence. Wash it away. All day fire fresh. I hope this hurts.
I'm guessing I have to get out of the vents. I'm afraid. I don't know if it's going to hit me or not. Ooh. I'm so confused right now. By what this thing is. ID cards. Mouthwash bottles. Pony Express is dead. And so are you. Polly says. Sorry. Shut up. Curly tried his best. I did too. But he's the better man. I see that now. We can both still make it. I'll take care of him. I'm taking responsibility. Curly. Captain. I'm so sorry. Yes. 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 I do. I fucked up. But I can still make this right. Our worst moments don't make us. Zero hours before judgment. Where could we be going now? Utility. I'm gonna put him in the cryopod. It's okay, Curly. You're going to be okay. You always had my back. I ended up hurting you even though I was trying to save us. But now you'll survive. It's like you said. Together we could fix anything. I'm just proud I got to be your friend and co-pilot captain. No one can hurt you now. We fixed it. I fixed it.
Did he just start up the cryo and then shoot himself? I need a minute. I'm gonna make my best attempt at explaining what happened here. Obviously the story is told in an insane format of jumping forward, jumping back, jumping forward, jumping back. And every time that happens, every time we get a scene, we learn some new information and slowly it all pieces together into one timeline. And even after looking back, I realized some things I didn't realize before. Um, one of the biggest things that i um, mad at myself that I didn't realize was that the fact that it was definitely not consensual between Anya and Jimmy. There's a lot of signs of it. I mean, she acts off throughout the entire game and it's because Jimmy assaulted her and she even asks curly why don't the bedroom doors lock or the the rooms where their beds are in and curly says oh i think because of safety and like that's you know an obvious hint and then she even tells him later like when curly's like who got you pregnant she's like i told you and she's like i hid the gun from him and even when curly confronts jimmy he doesn't take responsibility which is another huge thing in this entire thing is that jimmy is probably the biggest most horrible person I've ever played as in a video game, if not top five most horrible people I've ever seen in a video game. I mean, he's responsible for every single bad thing that happens in this, and he's so manipulative of the crew and even the player to the point where he manipulated me into thinking that Curly was at fault for all this, that Curly crashed the ship. Meanwhile, Jimmy was crashing the ship because he couldn't take responsibility, which is a huge thing that they tell you in the game a thousand times is take responsibility. And that's something that Jimmy refuses to do. Under every single scenario, he refuses to take responsibility for being at fault for things. Obviously, he did what he did to Anya, and now she's pregnant. And instead of going back and dealing with the consequences when they get off the ship, he thinks it's just better to crash the ship and put everyone's lives in danger. And even when he does that, Curly jumps in last second to steer the ship out just so that everybody could survive. Jimmy then puts all the blame on Curly because he still can't even take responsibility for crashing the ship. That's a whole another thing is that Jimmy is incredibly jealous of Curly's position, even though it seems Curly has done so much to earn the position that he's in. Jimmy's so jealous of it, and instead of doing the work or being the good person that you can be to achieve Curly's position. When Curly ends up being damaged when the ship crashes, he assumes Curly's position. He just, he decides that he's captain now. And even though he's trying to pretend to be Curly, he'll never live up to what Curly could do. Jimmy basically kills every single crew member as captain. I mean, Anya ends up as you saw, uh, that's because of Jimmy's actions, because of how he affected her, because of the situation that they're in, because of him. Daisuke ends up dying because Jimmy tells him to go in the vent, even though I guess what Jimmy was trying to do by hoping to save Anya and Curly from whatever situation they were going to be in. I guess it's good intentions, but he knew the danger that could come from it. He knew that Swansea said a thousand times, do not go in the vent way before anything happened, since literally the ship took off, they knew not to do that. And he ends up getting Daisuke killed because of that. And even Swansea Swansea, I think Swansea just tries to kill Jimmy in a fit of rage because he sees that Jimmy is basically causing all these horrible things. And even until the end, Jimmy keeps having this thing where he's he thinks he could fix everything. And he's just doing the total opposite. He tells Daisuke after he gets hurt that he could fix it. He tells Swansea that he's gonna, you know, save everyone, then he's gonna fix everything and get them home. And even at the end, he tells Curly that he's gonna fix him when he puts him into the cryopod. And then instead of surviving long enough to try to hope for safety before dying, Jimmy ends up just taking his own life because again, cannot take responsibility. <laughs> It's insane to me that Jimmy still thinks, even with Curly, that he fixed things. Like, you know, he's putting Jimmy in the cryopod, he's doing a good thing. That was after you basically put Curly into the condition he was in, this absolutely destroyed condition, after you traumatized him, after you cut off his leg and fed it to him, and then thought to yourself, that was a good idea, and that Curly will appreciate that one day because you fed him. Even though you you cut off his leg and fed him. It's, it's horrible. And he still thinks that he was fixing things. He's easily <laughs> one of the worst and most manipulated, manipulative characters I've ever uh, seen in a game. And it honestly shocked me how far he manipulated me, even up until the end. And honestly, there's probably still story beats in this game or s things that they implied or shared that I totally missed and that flew over my head. 
and I do apologize for that. Um, playing this for what f I think was three hours, there's a lot of information to take in, especially the majority of the game is actually dialogue. It's not really you doing things. You're kind of just walking around the ship, talking to different people, and then you hit a few buttons. So it's a lot of information to take in, and it's all out of order, and trying to put it all together is a bit hard. So like I said, I do apologize for maybe missing some information, but please, in the comments down below, let me know what I did miss. I'd love to have a dialogue with you guys about it in the comments and try to discuss uh, some of the insane storytelling that was shared in this i do think this game is incredible this is honestly a 10 out of 10 in my opinion one because i want to replay it now knowing everything that i know so you could kind of piece things together better and um two because the story was great the art style was great the gameplay was great it never felt boring to me even though we were basically doing the same thing over and over and over again which was just walk around the ship go and get this go and get this uh turn this switch on it wasn't even that crazy of gameplay but it was still so immersive and i was locked in beginning to end and this was even one of the top recommended games by you guys and i totally see why now now i hope you guys did enjoy this video i hope you guys made it to the end if you did thank you so much for watching my gameplay and my thoughts on everything uh if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to drop a like on it uh and if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe i make videos like this on my channel all the time and we're trying to hit 1 million subscribers before the end of the year i also made a second channel where i'm starting to upload vlogs and stuff like that so if you want to check that out too the link will be in the description as well and the link to this game will be in the description also thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.